What's up you guys? How you doing? Well, I hope. I'm in such a good mood. Are you in a good mood? I hope you are. Filming this video Sunday morning and I'm gonna edit it and get it up so you will see this later in the day. So happy Sunday. I have not sat and done a collective haul. It feels like in forever. I mean, I'm sure it hasn't been, but it feels like a long time. So I wanna show you some cool new things that I got. And um, I bought some, some were gifted to me, but all chosen by me. And yeah, I think I'm really excited about fashion at the moment. I think Fashion Week was super inspiring. So we'll, we'll talk about that in another video. But let me just show you what I got and I hope you like it. So as mentioned, this is collective. That means I got some stuff from different places. I'm gonna show you ASOS. Torrid, Target, and Eloquii today. I know, so many places, am I right? Hope you're excited. Now, the irony that I'm wearing a sheer pink-ish thing with dots on it is, uh, is not missed on me in the fact that I'm going to show you a sheer pink thing with an overlay. They are different, I promise. This one is neon. It There is the color. I was gonna say, it's not showing as bright as it is on, on camera. Now it is. It's a really bright neon dress. It has shoulder pads. It is such like 80s prom inspired nonsense. I cannot get enough of this dress. I So I got this for Fashion Week and it ended up arriving too late for me to wear it. I was so excited, but there are sheer sleeves, it's an animal print, um, and then the bodice is kind of a fit and flare style, which I'm not super into, but this feels very, very modern, um, very updated, and so, yeah, I'm into this. Now I gotta figure out a place to wear The next thing I'm gonna show you from ASOS is much more classic. Uh, it is the year of the trench coat. Have I not said this a thousand times? Trench coats are gonna be everywhere. Get yourself a trench coat if you don't have one. I'm loving the really modern takes on them. This one is in this really cool like spice color, which I'm kind of obsessed with. I didn't know if I would like it in person and I just think it's brilliantly done. Um, so yeah, it's just a classic trench coat shape and it looks really good. I can't wear, wait to wear this in kind of a sporty way. I think a trench coat and like a gray hoodie is life. So um, especially a zip up so you can layer a t-shirt under, some cool jeans, some cute booties or sneakers, etc. So yeah, I'm loving this. And I will say though, so I got my normal size, 24. But the arms for me, because I have larger arms, the arms for me felt a little bit snug. Like I never have an issue with coats from ASOS ever, ever, ever. Like every single coat I've ever gotten from there fit like a glove, super comfortable. I don't know if I've like, have I cookied too much this winter? I have no idea, but my other coats feel fine. So I don't think it's that. I think the arms are just a little bit slimmer on this one. Um, so beware if you carry your weight in your arms, you might wanna just have a metal note. It's not uncomfortable, but I think if I put too many layers under it, it would be. So just, just a little mention. The next thing I'm gonna show you is currently my favorite dress. Um, I don't know what else to tell you. It's so, perfect i don't even like let me just stop it's like let me stop hyping it up it's a leopard print dress it's in the most perfect thin material not too thin i can't see through it but it's in this lightweight easy wearable fabric like i can wear this dress in to the like warmer months it does have long sleeves i'm hoping they do something similar um for summer with short sleeves I'm obsessed with this thing. I just wore it on my Instagram. Bing, ding, all that, all that jazz. Just wore it on Instagram and I can't get enough of it. It's so perfect. I love, and so asymmetrical hems, they can go a little wrong. They can look a little bit dated. Uh, don't always love them, but the pink dress I just showed you had one. This one is done flawlessly. I think it looks so badass and I'm obsessed. Highly recommend, 10 out of 10, recommend. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna show you from ASOS is not gonna be everyone's cup of tea and that is okay. It is this, which is basically an oversized t-shirt dress that's all white except for this random ruffled situation on the bottom hem. Like, 
I don't know why it's there, but it is such a cool little detail. And I feel like this for me is the kind of dress that I want to kick around in. Like I'll wear it in the winter, maybe put a turtleneck under it and some cute boots, um, you know, tights and all of that. Like you can really like make it winter appropriate. But in summer, I'm putting this dress on, I'm putting on some sneakers or I'm putting on some cute sandals and I'm wearing it way too much. Like I'm actually considering getting another one in case I ruin this one because you know that tit shelf when you're eating something the spill game is kind of high so uh yeah I love it and I feel like you should too it's okay if you don't but I feel like you should consider it consider loving this dress put that on your to-do list Keeping it rolling, keeping it rolling. Next up, I'm gonna show you some things from Eloquy. Um, these were gifted to me, ASOS was too, I think. I bought some and some were gifted. But I picked these out and they are freaking adorable. So this dress, that blue though, if you, if you follow me on Instagram, which hello, you should. Are you following me, just scratch myself. Are you following me on Instagram? Um, if you're not, I don't know, like what's your, what's your, what's your deal, bro? Uh, if you are, thank you so much. However, if you are, you know that I have been saturated in color lately. I'm in a color mode because fashion is in a color mode and it's fun. Um, and when you're wearing a bright color, you literally make people happy. Like people stop you on the street and they're like, oh my God, I love your, and I know they're not even looking at the clothing. They're just reacting emotionally to the color. So. I love that. This blue, I've had a joke that like cobalt blue, I call it plus size blue. No shade, but also shade. Because sometimes like there's no other color in a thing. It's like people wear black, white, and then this blue. And it's like, there, it's as if like, ugh, I can't talk. It's as if brands don't think that there are any other colors to use. But I think this one is done really well. It's showing up a little bit bright on screen, but it's a little deeper. And I think it's actually perfect. It's almost like a lapis a little bit. Just a touch. Anyway, I know exactly how I want to wear this. You will see it on my Instagram soon. You will see it if you bump into me on the street because it is so comfortable, so wearable. And I want to wear this in like some really cool monochromatic way. Um, this color really jumped into my soul based off of the Marc Jacobs runway, which was so epic. Um, if you didn't follow New York Fashion Week, you should totally Google Marc Jacobs uh, fall 2018 runway and get your colorful life because it was glorious. Anyway, I'm going to wear this and I'm going to like it and I'm going to be happy about it. And yeah, next up is... I don't want to say out of my comfort zone because what's out of my comfort zone is like, you know, nudity outside. Clothing, pretty much I'm comfortable in most things, but it is out of my like style circumference a little bit. And that's just because it's a jumpsuit. And I feel like I don't really rock with jumpsuits that often because I'm so tall, like I'm five foot ten, long torso and long legs. So it just, you know, it just doesn't work out for me all the time. But I got this one and it's stripes and it's so cool. And there's all this cool like detailing. There's a ribbon and these pockets. I will tell you, um, I sized up two sizes in this. So I went up two because of the length and boy am I glad I did. I thought it was going to be like this slouchy, oversized situation kind of like how Rihanna would wear a slouchy overalls and like a bra top and some Tims or something I thought I was gonna have that kind of moment it turned out to be something else but I really like it anyway as you can see here I uh took some pictures in it which were they're either on my Instagram now or they're going to be so yeah I just wanted to show you like how I styled this in motion I paired it with a mock turtleneck so it was like a short sleeve turtleneck because I wanted the height on my neck and then I put it on the leopard jacket that I got last London Fashion Week um from Simply B which I think is still available so I'll link that below as well if it is but yeah here's here's how I wore it and uh, I'm, I'm a fan.
I hope you are too. Next up, I got one thing that I'm gonna show you from Target. I will be posting the Target shopping trip that I got this jacket in next. So next video, stay tuned for that. I went to Target with my sister and my cousin and we had the most fun because Target is our happy place. Anyway, it is this, it is a faux leather moto. Now I have so many moto jackets and I, I don't know, I'm kind of over them a little bit, but I was looking for a good, comfortable one. I had one which I gave to an airport security person on my way back from LA. My bag was overweight and it was heavy and I didn't love that jacket anyway because I just felt like it was cut too short for my body, my torso. So uh, the lady was plus size and I was like, do you want this coat? And she was like, yes. And I was like, here. And then I got on the plane. So I replaced it with this one. Um, so I love these faux leather motos because they generally are a little less um, warm and a little less stiff than my real leather one. So got this and I really love it. I think the fit is perfect and it does have these little like comfort things on the back of the arm which I don't know. I didn't know if I liked it design wise but I sure like how it feels so I didn't really care. So yeah love this jacket and yeah um that vlog is coming soon. The next two things are from Torrid and I'm gonna like I'm gonna say probably the most ridiculous statement that has ever been said. I cannot figure out how to style this t-shirt. Kelly, it's a t-shirt, relax. I think I'm overthinking it, you guys. Okay, so here it is. It's a black, simple black t-shirt, but it has the LA Dodgers logo on it. This is giving me all my like 90s Tupac dreams, but am I, is it weird to wear an LA shirt in New York? And when I was in LA, I had it with me and I was like, is it corny to just walk around the city you're in with an LA t-shirt on? I don't know, it's a little like outside of my, my, I was like, what do I do with this? Do I just put on my moto jacket and jeans and just be super chill? Do I try to make it a thing? Like, is it fashion? Is it just a t-shirt? Should I just relax and wear it? The answer is probably yes. Also, it is super soft, the perfect weight, the perfect size. I got a size four. So I got a size, I don't know what a four is. I think a four is a 26. So I might've got a size up, but it's slouchy. Like I could have got it, you know, smaller, but I didn't want, I didn't know how it was gonna fit and I didn't want like the L and the A like pulling across my boobs. So it's good, it's a look. Tell me how, tell me what to do with this, you guys. Can I wear this in New York and not be assaulted? Like, let me know, please. Last item, you guys, we made it. Made it to the end, I hope. Uh, so I got this. It is a bodycon dress and it is in this really perfect, like ribbed material. I hope you can see that some kind of way. Uh, it's a short sleeve and there are buttons down the front and you can see the buttons, which I'm kind of obsessed with. This is just kind of my, cute super cute basic b dress <laughs> that i would wear this with um sneakers and like a cute jacket over i like my bodycon dresses with a jacket over i like the shape it creates i feel a little less exposed says the person who walks around in sheer clothing but that's how i like to do it feel free to do it how you like um but yeah this one is like really good quality i like the weight of it i like how it's not see-through and i like how it fits me it's close to my body but it's not clinging in an obnoxious way so i'm a fan did y'all catch that tongue pop who am I? Of course, as I'm trying to wrap up the video, my heat comes on, which means the radiator, which is right there, is making noise. But again, thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you uh, are interested in any of the items, everything will be linked down below per usual. And there are lots of photos of me wearing these clothes on my IG. So get to following. That's it for me. Love you, mean it. Bye.